This morning, my comments of a coffee, I want to talk about asking for help. Um, and I want to talk about why, well, not, not why, but I want to talk about the fact that we, we really resist and we don't like to have to ask for help. To say to someone, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'm not sure if this is right, I'm not sure how to do this, can you help me here, I don't understand this. And <clears throat> to a large extent, I'm talking about my students because, uh, you know, most of them, most of my students don't want to ask for help. Like, uh, I don't want people to know that I don't know. I don't want the authority that I answer to. So I don't want my lecturer to know that I don't know what I'm doing. So very often uh, I get emails from students asking if I can help them with their studies even though they're studying <clears throat> with someone else, you know, they're paying someone else, they're studying through another university or another institution, uh, but they're willing to pay me to help them with something that they don't understand. And when I ask them, have you asked for help with this, just, you know, so that I understand the background, they go, no, I haven't. So they're prepared to pay, to pay me to, um, to help them with something that they're paying someone else to help them with purely because they don't want that person, they don't want their lecturer to know that they're struggling and that they don't know what to do. Which is so tragic because, you know, every lecturer I've ever spoken to is always talking about, I wish people would, you know, come and ask for help. I wish people would let me know what they need from me. I wish, you know, I wish that my students would tell me what they're struggling with. And I find students are terrified, well that's a bad word, they just, they just won't go to their own lecturers and say, like, I just, I don't understand this, can you, can you help me with this? Um, they kind of say, well, you know, my lecture is a little intimidating, or, you know, they seem a little angry, or they're impatient, or whatever, but if you're paying for that help, then you need to go and get that help. And I often say to my students, think about 10 years time, you know, are you going to tell your friends that, um, you know, you never got your degree or you never finished, you never passed, you never, you know, you, you never qualified because you had a lecturer who um, was intimidating. Like, are you really, do you really want that to be your story? Are you really gonna let someone who is maybe, you know, maybe comes across as, a little impatient, um, you're really going to let them get in the way of your studies like that. Like, that's just ridiculous, you know. So think a little bit bigger and say, you know, in 10 years time, this person, you know, isn't going to feature on my radar. I don't care what they think of me. I need the help, you know. And approach them and say, like, what do you need from me to, in order for you know, for, for, for me to get some help. Like, I need, I need some help with this. I don't understand this. Can you explain it again? Can you do this? Can you do that? <clears throat> what I think students don't realize or what they don't necessarily understand is that this is not a problem that's going to go away. So my students are often, they're like, well, you know, it's just like, if I can just pass this, then, you know, I don't have to worry about this issue anymore. But, but... Wherever you go in the world, wherever you go in the workplace, you are always going to be faced with projects that are somewhat challenging, that you haven't done before, that you're not comfortable with. You're going to get given instructions to do work that you may not really understand or that you may think you understand and then once you start working with it, you realize this doesn't look right, I'm not so sure about it, what's going on here? If you are not comfortable asking someone that you are paying for help. If you are not comfortable going to them and saying, please can you help clarify this for me, what are the chances that you are going to go to your boss or your manager or someone at work and say, please can you clarify this, I'm not feeling comfortable with it, I don't really know what I'm doing here. But we are so terrified to let people know that we might not know what we're doing because what does that mean? What does it mean if I don't know what I'm doing? Like, it means that I don't deserve to be here. It means that I'm not smart enough to be here. It means, you know, someone's going to get upset with me. And you know what? Maybe they will. 
you know, in, in the workplace, everybody's stressed out. Everybody's got deadlines. So, you know, if your manager kind of, you know, sighs and goes, oh, roll the eyes and oh, this is so annoying. Now I have to explain this to you again. It's going to happen. You know, you have to develop some kind of emotional resilience that you can kind of smile and go, yeah, no, I, you know, I, I, I do apologize, <clears throat> but, you know, I really just would rather clarify up front, you know, I'd like, would hate to have to redo this, you know, I would hate to spend more time and redo it. And perhaps just that, you know, a calm clarification might make them go, yeah, you're right, actually, like, let's just, you know, we, I'd hate to have to go back and do this again, and let's just get it right the first time, you know. Um, people are not always going to respond the way that we want them to, but that shouldn't change what we need from them. That shouldn't change if I need help with something, I need to go and get it. If it's a job I have to do, then it's incumbent on me to go and do it. So when you're thinking about asking for help and you're going, I need help, but, you know, I need help, but I don't want to ask for it because of whatever, you need to take a broader view of this and go, in five years' time, where am I going to be? In five years' time, am I going to be telling people that I didn't get my degree, didn't get the job, didn't get the promotion, didn't get the stuff done, and in reality, I know it was because I didn't ask for help. It was because I was worried that the well, I was worried what the person would think of me. I was worried, you know, how they would respond. I was worried what they would think of me, so I didn't do it. If you're in, you know, if you're in university, if you're studying and you struggle to ask for help, think about the fact that part of what you're doing is developing the skill of asking for help so that when you get into the workplace and you deal with, with your professionals and with people around you, you are more comfortable to say, actually, I am a trainee, you know, I, I am learning here and part of learning is understanding and making sure that I know what I'm doing. So I'm taking responsibility for my own training. You know, so many times people are like, well, you know, it's not my fault they didn't explain it properly. Well, you know, are you five years old kind of thing? You know, unless you're five years old, you don't get to say, uh, oh, you know, it's not my fault I didn't understand what I'm doing. Uh, they didn't explain it properly. But if you didn't understand, as an adult, you need to go back and go, I don't understand, <laughs> you know, because it's your reputation. You can't go around saying, it's not my fault I did a really bad job, it's their fault because they didn't explain properly. That's not going to fly. Nobody's going to accept that. Like, nobody is going to accept, oh, okay, fair enough, it's okay, back off everyone. She did a really bad job because she was given bad instructions. People don't see the world that way. What people see is, why didn't you get help? Why didn't you ask for help? If you were struggling, why didn't you go somewhere? Oh, because my manager gave me really bad instructions and... Um, you know, she's, she's really horrible. Okay, well, why didn't you go to someone else? No, I just didn't. Well, then, you know, <laughs> it's your responsibility for your own learning. So I really do understand that it's hard to ask for help. I really do understand that it's hard to sit in front of someone who knows what they're doing and say to them, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, please, like, I, you know, I know you explained it and you, you, know, you took your time and you were really patient and maybe you even explained it more than once, but I've gone through a question now and I, like, I'm really struggling. Can you please help me? I know that it's hard to do that, but in five years' time, that is a skill. That is a professional skill that you're going to be so happy that you learn to do. One. Two, you'll probably find your lecturer crying little tears of joy that someone has finally taken the initiative to step forward and go, I need help. Because every lecturer I've ever spoken to is like, I wish students would come and ask for help. No matter how many times we say to them, guys, if you don't understand, come find me, make an appointment, email me, message me, whatever the case is. And students are like, no, I'm not ready to ask for help yet. I don't know enough to ask for help, I'm gonna sit and grind away and tear myself up for another six hours on my own before I ask you for help. But as that happens, you know, your exam deadline is like flying by <laughs> behind you. I respect that we wanna work things out for ourselves. I know that, I'm exactly the same. Like, we wanna work things out for ourselves um, and we feel like you should work it out for yourself first. But the problem is you've got to balance that out with your time, with your deadline. I'd, I've done the same thing and I do the same thing all the time. If I'm working on software or I've got an app or a program that I'm working on and I'm struggling with something and I'll be like, oh, I can't get this right and I scratch and I Google and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it's, my husband always says to me, you know, have you emailed support? I'm like, no, 
I'm not ready to email support yet. Uh, like, I don't know what I'm doing. He's like, yeah, that's why you're paying for support. Like, have you emailed support? And said to them, I'm like, yeah, but it's probably a really stupid mistake. And it's probably really stupid. And I don't know what I'm doing. He's like, yeah, that's why you're paying for support. Email support. I'm like, okay, fine. Just to get my <laughs> back. Email support. And in two hours, they're like, oh, you just need to click this button and do this over there. And I'm like, okay, I've just saved myself five hours of scratching through it and still getting it wrong. If you're paying for support, go and get it. If you're worried about what they think of you, take a step back and ask yourself in five years time, in 10 years time, do you care whether or not that person thinks you're stupid? Do you care what your lecturer thinks of you? No, because you need to pass at the end of the year. Does your lecturer think you're stupid? No. No, they don't. You don't. As a lecturer, I know that my students struggle with stuff. I know that there's stuff that they're comfortable with, that they get easily, that they don't get easily. I know what they struggle with, probably better than they do, but I can only reach them and I can only really fill that gap once they've really understood for themselves what that gap is. It's like developing a puzzle and once they've put the puzzle together themselves and they're left with the blank holes, the puzzle pieces, when I give them those puzzle pieces, they're like, yes, that's the one, that's the one that I need, but they've got to ask me for it. So don't worry what other people think of you. I know it's easier said than done, but take a step back, look at the bigger picture. Think about your professional skill that you're building. Think about the fact that you don't want to turn around and go, oh, you know, I didn't pass my exam because I was too scared to ask my lecturer for help. Like, that's just heartbreaking. That's just absolutely tragic. Go and get the help you need.